Yes, yeah. it's sweet you though. Because your like pen it. is green, your book is green. And, uh, right, my what my phone case will be, will be green. green. And hey. my whole body will be green. I, I see that. Yeah. Is something happening that we should know? No, green is nice. So, you okay. know, that green has become very modern. Mm, yeah, uh, indeed. Before, it wasn't like that. but uh, And you do, green, too, is in the CPP colors. So I see that. You decide to choose which one you want you to want. Complement. But congratulations to your uh, party, you. finally. Yeah. You have a flag bearer. Yeah, we have a flag bearer. I mean, why did it take so long? Oh, we are going through processes and, you mm. know, a lot of court cases here. And then now we settled everything and God willing, we have a flag bearer. Is, so. Do you have enough time oh, to yes. sell this candidate to the Oh, rest of the Ghana? candidate is already sold. You know, she used to be our former chairman. Mm. And, I mean, she's already sold. She's not, um, and I mean, she's not new to the Ghanaian public. Okay. So uh, it wouldn't be too much of work. Oh, yeah. I yeah. see. Well, congrats. Yeah. Congrats Thank to you. you. I, I see that lawyer, yeah, not your friend, Paul, is not too happy. And mm -hmm. he says that he's not con going to congratulate someone who won unfairly. Okay. I don't know how you are resolving that internally oh, as a party. Well, yeah, but... that, that is one of the things that happened during elections. Mm. I mean, it will be resolved. Because when the flag bearer was speaking, she spoke about unity. Mm. So, I mean, certainly... We are not going to, I mean, let this election divide us. Definitely. We are forging ahead as a group, as a team, wow. to make sure that um, Ghana is better. Yeah. Well, congratulations to Nana from Pomas uh, Kamon Kuma. And she is the flag bearer for the CPP. And she says that they are going to break the zero. So for every polling station across the country where the CPP hitherto had scored zero, had not gotten any votes at all, she says she's going to ensure that they break that zero case mm -hmm and get as many votes as possible. So all the best to her, especially, and to the CPP. But also, in the studios, we have Na Ache Niokwe. She's a communications team member for the NDC. Good morning. Good morning. Interesting Good morning. name. Yes, yes, yes. Proud Na young. Ache Niokwe. Yes, Na hey. Ache Niokwe. Oh, proud proud I know. Proud. Good to see you in the studios. Happy to be here. First time that we're having you on First the show. First time, and I'm happy to be here. Yeah. But I want to disagree, Nanaya, that Ghana is green and the world is green. Please. All our green lands are no more. We've lost them to Galamsey. We've lost some. We've, we've lost, please, please. We've the, lost the, some, the, not all. So easy. So that is yeah, all that green. is left. It's, but it's just the, the other green. other parts of the world is green. They, just, don't, it, they don't have Galamsey. It's just the green in the flag the that is left. But either way, so I'm happy to be here. <laughs> I Thank see. You. We just did introduction. You're already fired. <laughs> <fine. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> that? Also, and you see, you're, you're not lucky because you are sandwiched by two people who are wearing green at this point. But Ghana is not green. You relax. Mm. We haven't started yet. It is not green. I'm sure. Well. I'm sure my next guest will disagree with you as well. Mm. Oh, uh, wow. Ayila <laughs> Apenjine Tabitha. I hope I didn't <laughs> murder your name. You butchered it. I did, eh? Yeah. I'm so sorry. Please help me oh, out. It's fine. Aperene. Aperene. Yes. It's G Y, a but it's still Aperene. There's a G. Yes. Then Y. Apeg. Oh. So you divide it into two. Apeg. Then Yene. Aperene. Yes. Oh, that's an interesting Correct. name. What does it mean and where is it from? One that glorifies God. Okay. And it's a Guni name. Guni. Yes. Oh, that's really um, nice. People normally call us Frafris, but it's not Frafra. Upper East, isn't it? Yeah. Upper East. Yeah, Upper East. Okay. I it's see. It's from Upper East. Yeah, I mean, when you hear it, it's I've never yeah. heard it. I, I actually like it. So, it's a name Tabitha. Upper East. Yeah. Ayila. Sure. Mm. Interesting. You're Tabita welcome. Kumi. Thank I know you. Tabita Kumi. Can we can we make it easier and call it Tabita Kumi at this point? No, oh, no problem. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a Bible verse with Tabita. Mm. Yes. Wake up. Wake up. Yes. Little yes, girl, yes, yes. wake up. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, good to have you in the studios as well. I don't think Thank I've met you. you as well, so this will be officially the first time. Sure. But I hope you're well. I'm doing very well. Well, she's saying Ghana is not green at the moment. You're wearing green. <laughs> are, you, are you celebrating something or you're trying to show the, the, the forest cover that we have in Ghana? Which is which? Um, or is it just a random choice? It's a random choice. Okay. But, um, um, yeah, it's just a random choice. I see. Anyway, well, thank you for joining us. And we'll have Susan Edu Amankwa join us soon. In fact, uh, let me properly introduce Tabitha. She's a member of the NPP communications team. And then also, shortly, we will introduce Susan Edouard Mankwa to you. She's a member for Alliance for Revolutionary Change. But just before um, we get into that, let me get into a, a quick story on what's happening. Or maybe I might as well just welcome her. You're welcome. Thank you. You look really nice as well. Thank so you. We have so quite a, a range of yeah, colors so, today. Yes, so beautiful mm. ladies. Yes. I mean, so, I can't power on the TV. 
Hey, I see that. <laughs> Susan Edouard Manko is a member of Alliance for Revolutionary Change. I hope you've had a good week so far. Yes. And you're looking forward to today's conversation as well. Definitely. All right. Well, so we get into our conversation now. We're talking about Galamse and its effects, um, you know, on our river bodies and also in the forest reserves. Now, Per what the Ghana Water Company is telling us, per their statements that we released over the weekend, now they're not able to produce 70% of the water anymore like they were doing in the past. Now they can only produce 40% of the water that comes in. So they can only treat 40% and that's what goes into the homes of various people who live within the central region and the western region. And that's very disturbing. If you listen to the CEO of the Ghana Water Company Limited back in 2022, he said that at that time, 50% of the water they produced went to waste. 50% went to waste as a result of Galamse. Now we're told that um, 70 percent or 60 percent of that water now goes to waste. So it looks as if every two years or so we're losing about 10 percent of the water that we can treat. And that only tells you that reports indicating that we might have to import water by 20, uh, 2030 are actually true. And that's very disturbing. As if that's not enough, there's a group that's supposed to go to the river bodies almost every week or so to take samples from the river bodies in order to test and see how silted or poisoned the water is. Now, per what they are saying, they are not even getting the chance to even go and collect some samples from the river bodies anymore. And that's because the Galamseas have now barricaded the water bodies. And so before you even get close to it, they'll ask you first of all with their security men, what you're coming to do. You have to convince them that you're only there to collect samples. Otherwise, you'll not be allowed to go close to it. Uh, that's Dr. Bob Alpha. He's the Acting Executive Director for Water Resources Commission. He's the one that's been speaking on this. Let's listen to him quickly. We'll come back and have a conversation on what the Minister for Land and Natural Resources says he intends to do from today onwards. Water in no time. Uh, I believe the eight-year estimate is even too long. <laughs> based on the information that I have. So, so should, uh, please please share be, that information because that is key. Many people need to yeah. appreciate what we are it dealing could, with. It could be sooner and I, I will explain that, you know, uh, we don't have to get to zero for the system of the water treatment to shut down. By the time we get to even 20, the systems will not even be able to take the 20 out of the uh, abstraction of water that they probably will be uh, getting from the rivers. So uh, we are not going to get to zero before the system shuts down. Uh, you already mentioned some of the figures in terms of the turbidity values. Uh, this is very common across the southwestern area. Uh, you mentioned some of the areas. And uh, the picture is very gloomy. It is frightening, in fact, to you know, put it bluntly. Uh, I really hope and uh, like the previous panelist said, uh, it is not just about hope, but uh, we need to keep doing something to trigger the change that we all need. Uh, I can tell you, it has a cascading effect, not only on the water supply, but the economy of Ghana, the lives of people. And we have a few, group, I mean, a small group of people who are making millions out of this. And to paraphrase what you put as regulators from taking data of the water to analyze. I mean, is, that, is that happening to you? It, yes, of course. My men go to the ground. We, we measure stability values almost every week to see uh, areas that were much better. What is the situation? But there are some specific areas that you can't even have access to. And well, when, you, you, when, you say, when you say don't have access to, what, what do you mean? They have barriers, uh, uh, security posts, where you will have to show your credentials or the reason why you have to you know, access wow. those areas. And sometimes we have to navigate our way to be able to get to the river and take samples. Uh, there are times we have to rely on satellite images. Using the color of the, the, the water, we are able to correlate and determine 
the values of the turbidities. So that's Dr. Bob Alpha. He's the acting executive director for Water Resources Commission. And um, thank you to Joy News. That's where we got this information from. He spoke to Evans Mensa um, on his show. And that's when he indicated that they have to show their credentials to the miners in order to get access. In fact, I, I mean, it's shocking. Erastus Asari Donko yesterday. It's really shocking. It's, hmm. So he also says that. On the Tano River, no, on Cobra River, mm. you find them mining in, in the middle of the river. And there's even one, according to the chiefs, he went to the chiefs and says he wants to buy a part of the river mm. so what? that he can continue to mine there because Ghanaian now they feel a sense Chinese? of ownership. Ghanaians, that's how bad it's you going to be. You want to buy the river? Yes. Hey, we are somewhere. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have gotten to some place. Bella, they want to buy the river. Yeah. Yeah. And they have security. What kind of security? Well, they have their own armed men. Armed men? Yes. This is annoying. I, I mean, it, it is just unbelievable. Bella, let me say good morning to your viewers and good morning to my sister. I, I am just, I, I can't even speak. <laughs> oh, God have mercy. Hmm. They have armed men, and they wouldn't allow the experts to take samples to yeah. see how bad the situation is. Mm -hmm. And they want to buy. And what is government doing? What is the minister doing? What are the institutions doing? We have laws in this country regarding mining. What are, why are we doing this to ourselves? Tell us seriously, why are we doing this to ourselves? Because when you talk right now, they tell you that, oh, you are being too emotional. But this is about Ghana. Around the Galamse areas, they are giving birth to deformed children. Deformed animals. Dogs have double heads. Children are born without limbs. And we are not doing anything about it. Listen to what Mr. Alpha said. He said that even 2030 is too far away. Yeah. And it is closer than that. And 2030 is about six years from now. So if it is closer, then we are talking maybe next year, next two years. And we are not doing anything. You see, the Ghana Water Company said that they will lose 55% of the water that they process mm -hmm. because of Galamse. It will be left with 45%. Do you get me? Mm -hmm. But with this 45%, no matter how much chlorine you use, you might not be able to make the water wholesome for us to drink. Yeah. Because the chlorine itself, it, too much of it is dangerous to our body. Look at all these diseases that are around these days. We don't even know where they are coming from. The food that we eat, the water we use to cook these foods. And Bella, you see, I, I have heard the rhetoric so many times, it is annoying. Every government in their manifesto has a plan to deal with um, Galamse. Galamse. Mm -hmm. I saw a picture of the River Prayer in 2016, and I saw it in June 2017. A vast difference. I mean, what kind of life is this one? Where are we taking the money to? Why, why are we doing this to our country, Ghana? Why are we doing this to ourselves? Bella, it, it, it is so disheartening. And when you see the pictures, even when you are going to Kumasi, on the way to Konongo, mm -hmm. you see them doing it openly. Yeah. And I'm wondering that the, 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 the people who are in government, don't they use these roads? Don't they pass these roads to go to Kumasi, to go to the northern region? Don't they drive on these roads anymore? Because as they are starting their campaign, they are going to drive on the roads. Yeah. Don't they see it and they drive and pass by without doing anything about it? Now they have security men. So where are the military? Where is the police? Why can't we stop them? The minister says they are going to review and also conduct a stakeholder engagement, and then they will release the... Security men. They are waiting to take an engagement. as soon as possible, in fact, from today. Stakeholder engagement for what? You have seen the thing going, you are now going to do stakeholder engagement before you release police. Have you heard this thing before? You have, you have waited for this to, to be so alarming. This is bad. You are now going to do stakeholder engagement. This is about our health, though. And our health systems, you see, when the pandemic starts, when we start getting the effects of this galamsey, our health system cannot contain it. The, the, the director for communications for the MPP, Richard Ahiaba, we are all praying for him. 
He said on his Twitter page and on Ghana Web that what he has gone through as a patient in one of our major hospitals, mm -hmm. he cannot even comprehend. Thank you. And that is the truth. And how is our health system, a hospital where even lifts are not working, pregnant women cannot get to the ward. They cannot get to the delivery room. How are we going to deal with a pandemic that will come out of Galamsey? And we have waited all this while. Bella, almost billions of dollars of illegal gold leave our shores every day. And you see, what even makes me angry and what even makes my blood boil is the fact that they, they always arrest these little, little boys who are working there. Because they are not the ones responsible. Why have they left the big ones? Why have they left the key people, the kingpins, who are in Galamsey? Bella, tell me, why have they left them? And arresting these little boys. They have no cue. They don't know who the people they are working for. They just need money to feed themselves. And also get a little gold to sell because they are unemployed. But, but we've heard, we've seen videos where they're saying that with the amount of money that they're earning now, that is what I'm, what no I'm other to, job, job will, be, will, will give them that kind of money. So they are not stopping Galaxy yeah, anytime stopping. soon. Should they also but, not be but arrested? Law, but law. No, but my dear, if somebody doesn't go in with those machines, this is a shamfan or shamfan or whatever. It is being produced in Ghana, one. Number two, it is being imported. It's coming through our ports. Why are we allowing those machines to enter this country? Yes, it is used for legal small-scale mining. But can't there be another alternative for legal small-scale mining that cannot be used for these illegal ones? Is there no mechanism to find out that whoever is buying this machine is going to use it for legal or illegal? There should be a system. Because the, the people who are in authority or people who have some clout are benefiting from it. They are not doing anything about it. Professor from Paul Barton's report, mm. it tells us everything. Me, I know Professor from Paul Barton very well. He was my chairman when I was at PRC. Between the, 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 the period of 206 mm -hmm. to 208. And he's a very straight person. To be very honest, I heard people insulting him, and I was wondering who are we dealing with. He's a hands on person. So it's possible that when he started his committee and he noticed that this thing wasn't going anywhere, he decided to write his own report. I mean, truly. And he doesn't, I mean, he would, he's a human being, yes. But Paul Boston will not lie for any reason. If you know him personally. The MPP does not agree with this then. Because they're the, saying that the reason he released that report was just to settle personal scores. What, between who and who? Well, that's what they are saying. No, I am saying that if you know from Paul Boston, then they don't know him. Then they don't know who he is. Me, I know him personally. It's not as if I'm, I'm saying it from somebody else. I work with from Paul Boston as my board chairman. And because of my position, I worked closely with all the board chairmen. Fimpo Obwati is a straight person. Yes, he's a human being. He might have his own issues, but he's a straight person. But I always told him that he was in the wrong party. He should have come to CPP. Because seriously, yes, because they never accepted him. That's why they will say that about him. An astute cardiothoracic surgeon, you are saying that he said. But how do you say they never accepted him? The president made him the chairman of the interministerial and, and what happened? Legal mining. And what happened? If he was not accepted, they wouldn't have given but, him such a position. Uh, but what happened? Politics, somebody can give you a position and leave you there to rot. What happened, my dear? When they gave him that position, what happened eventually? Was he able to exact his mandate? Was he able to do what he was supposed to do? He wasn't able to do it. So how did they accept him? I mean, truly, this is a very serious matter that we don't even have to bring politics into it. We should deal with it politically. I think that maybe they should even, government should even be out of it. And let's find a body that will deal with it. A body from, I mean, from civil society, with the police, the army, the navy. The same police and army that have been accused of also enabling Galamsey? No, but it depends on who you send there and how you send the person there. If you send the person there and you give a command not to do anything, the person will be idle and will be in Galamsey. No, no, I don't remember Operation Vanguard. Oh. Eventually, there were reports that came that the same military men and policemen who were sent to go and shut down these mining sites, illegal mining Bella, sites, Bella, ended up getting involved. Bella, did you hear me? Mm -hmm. I said that when you send somebody on an operation, mm -hmm. it depends on the command you give the person. Do you get me? There's always a command you give to somebody when they go on an operation. It is different from what we all know. There are times that somebody goes on an operation and you tell them to shoot mm. on site and you see danger. 
There are times that you are given a command that do not shoot. So what command did they give to them? When you give a military person a command, they act. That is the military. They act. So what command did they give to them? What a person died, what's his name? Uh, uh, Major Mahama. Major Mahama, How yes. long did it take for us to find out who killed Major Mahama? Do you get me? How hmm. long? So, but like if they went there to get involved in it, because the kind of command they were given. We were here when somebody said that when the military people come there, they should beat them up. But if the military is armed and they say that, shoot, people will start running away. They will not be there anymore. Who is not afraid of the military? Okay. Do you get me? Yeah. So it depends on the command they gave to them. I believe that if people are the police, we should not under, underestimate the prowess of our police, our military, the Navy, and the Air Force. We should not. They are enabled, and they are able, and they can do it. But if you don't enable them to work, they'll go there idle and also start being in the fray. All right. Let me bring that chair in. I mean, we've heard from the media coalition against legal mining, and they're asking for states of emergency on our river bodies. What do you say? Bella, good morning to your viewers, and good morning to my sisters at the table. So, Bella, you see, whether the president declares a state of emergency or not, the state of emergency is upon us. I say this on the verdict of the images we've seen of our water and land resources in previous years and the health of our water and land resources today. Mm. And to add that, when President Nana Adodanko Ekufadu and Dr. Baumia say that, they don't care about the next election, but they care about the next generation. They lie blatant lies. They only care about the next election, how the party will make money, party here, Sika. So it is never about the next generation. It is the same next generation that Nanaya is talking about are being given birth to deformed children or babies who have no hand in this galamse menace are actually having to bear the brunt of the menace. Now, so you see, let us place our conversation in proper context. And to say that the levels of pollution, the levels of destruction we are seeing today are unprecedented. And that one, I don't think that any well-meaning Ghanaian would debate this. It's unprecedented. And the earlier we condemn it, the better. And so to answer your question, whether or not government declares a state of emergency, the state of emergency is upon us. But you see, Bella, I'm sure that the NPP, led by Nana Dodanko Ekufuadu and Dr. Baumia, are terrorizing our lives. Mm. They are indulging in terrorist attacks on our very existence. Because you see, when you have video evidence, when you have reports coming from your own camp and not from the camp of the NDC, coming from your own camp and not from any other political party, that party apparatchiks have gathered, have planned and says that we are looking for viable concessions on which we can go and mine simply because party here, Sika, even at the peril of our lives. And then government can't be bothered. Leadership under President Anado Danko Ekufuado and Dr. Baumia say that we can't be bothered. In fact, Dr. Baumia said we should endure the deformity. We should how, how is he saying that? But he told us when he met the press, that if he does all the things today, what would he do when he comes to power? He said he said that in jest. And in so... what is jest? Bella, this is a serious matter. You can't be jesty about this. Lives are at stake. Aquatic life, human life, forest life is at stake. And then you say this in jest. Is Ghana looking for a president who will joke in the face of crisis? Hasn't former in the President face... Jadamani, Mahama also passed, you know, some funny comments as well? Bella, we all passed funny comments. What I'm saying is that in the face of an emergency, in the face of crisis, you don't joke. 
You don't postpone the solution you claim to have. That is exactly my point. Okay. But then, Bella, you see, it is under the watch of President Nana Adodankwe Kufuadu and Dr. Baumia that they passed the LI 2464 on the Environmental Protection Regulation that gives the president the power to give written permission for mining, be it legal or illegal. Because you see, once you even say that it is legal, mm. you are opening the floodgates for illegal mining to occur. And so if you give permission for people to mine in our forest reserves, what are you doing to us? What are you doing to the future generation you claim? to be protecting. Mm. Is it not after this ally was passed that we heard reports of Akunta mining, mining around the Tano forest, Tano river forest, and, and, and what have you? And it's 2462, by the way, not 2464, just to correct you. LA thank you. 2462. Thank, thank you very much. Now, is it not after this that the president comes to clear Akunta mining and say that they are not mining anywhere? when which report reached the president. When, as against, on 30th September 2020, 2022, the Lands and Natural Resources Ministry issued a press release, and I'll share with you, cautioning Akonta Mining to desist from mining in the forest. Is that not a contradiction to the president coming to clear Akonta Mining? And, of course, who owns Akonta Mining? Chairman Wun to me, because party here is Sika against the lives of unborn children. And you know what is even more heartbreaking? Yeah. After the Nana Dodanko Ekufadu and Dr. Baumia led administration has given us poison food and water and has given us all the kidney diseases in this world, when you go to, the, to Kolebu, the renal unit is non-functional. Mm -hmm. If this is not murder, if this is not wickedness, then I can't give a description to this. But, but if that's the case, not to point accusing fingers, but the NDC has also been fingered and also been involved in Galamse at this point. Bella. If you look at Professor Frimpon Boatin's report, he says it explicitly that the NDC are even more involved in the Galamse than the NPP, per what he wrote. Bella, granted... So, the, so should we, shouldn't we stop playing politics with this and look at how we can resolve the matter? It is the more reason why I'm coming to this. Granted that what you are saying is true. I'm what not the has, one saying it. Professor Frimpong Boateng is the one saying granted it. Granted that what Professor Frimpong Boateng has said is true. What is the NPP doing about it? Are they not in power? Who has tied the hands of the NPP from taking people on, from taking the so-called members of the NDC that they claim are involved to court? What, what, what prevents them? The fact is that they are even more involved in it. See, the kingpins of Galamse cannot be trusted any day any minute to be the fighters against Galamse. Because mind you, and I repeat, party here, Sika, do you remember the former secretary of the Interministerial Committee on Illegal Mining, Mr. Charles B. Sue, when Tiger P.I. fingered him in an expose that he's taking bribe to allow illegal mining to happen? What has happened today? Today, the MPP has promoted him to a parliamentary candidate. Because he was cleared, and so he was He was cleared, Bella, by who? <laughs> Did you hear about Mr. Kowusi and the conversation they had in that video? Mr. The likes of Mr. John Buedu, all these names came up. And what we are saying is that, see, if you claim that you are fighting Galamse and you have put your job on the line, with the level of failure we are experiencing, you should have left this job now. And then I repeat, President Nana Adodanko Ekufuado did not put his presidency on the line. But like he put our lives on the line. Today, all of us at this table, our lives are at stake. Today, there is no water flowing through the taps. Even if water is flowing, dirty water that cannot be treated. But like, if this is not wickedness, then I don't know what that is. Okay. But then you see... Learn for me so I can go to I'll learn quickly. Tabitha. The same Professor Frimpong Boateng has said that all the confidence that he reposed in Nana Dodanko Ekufuado and Dr. Baumia to fight Galamse, he has withdrawn. Mm. He has regretted ever reposing confidence in them to fight Galamse. Because, Bella, you see, it is under their watch that excavators got missing. It is under their watch that we saw them burning excavators, signing in a horror movie. 
Bella, what are we talking about? You burn people's excavators, okay. some get missing, you see some, and according to Kennedy Akumpre Kwe Japan, after seizing, you give it, Nana Adodan Kwe Kufado and Dr. Baumia, they give it to their favorite to go and mine concessions because party here, Sika. See, Bella, if Ghanaians survive the dirty water, if we survive the destruction, that Dr. Baumia says he has the solution, but will not solve. If we survive till 7 December, we will ensure with all the anger in us, that Dr. Baumia would not survive another term or a term at the presidency. Okay. <laughs> Let me bring Tabitha in because we, we've heard from the Minister of Lands and Natural Resources. In fact, he says that Operation Halt, for example, is not a continuous thing. As and when there's a need to, that's when they dispatch um, you know, military personnel or security to go and arrest these people who are engaged in illegal mining. Question, however, is we've seen, in fact, if you pass along these bodies, and not too long ago, we broke a story about Konongo, if you're going towards Konongo, just by the road, there's illegal mining happening brazenly. When the EPA was questioned about it, they said as far as they're concerned, the people only came for a license to go and survey the area and not to mine. So they were not aware of it until they were told about it. This is something that happens by the roads. We see all these government officials traveling across the country, going to campaign. Are they saying that they have not seen these things happen? Trevor Prasso, for example, you go there and you see the Chamfangs parked on the water bodies. People brazenly and openly engaging in Galamsey. And yet we hear the minister who is now saying that they are going to ensure that all these people are arrested, they're going to release personnel. Why do we wait till it gets bad before we now get up and say we are addressing the issue? Um, Bella, thank you very much. Um, <clears throat> let me say a good morning to all listeners. Um, Bella, this, this Galamse issue is actually one that worries me a lot. Being a, a student of environmental science, I, I understand better what it means to have people mine illegally, especially where people are employing methods that are not advised. Mm. Because some of the, 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 the chemicals that they use in mining, just as you indicated, that you find women giving birth to children without limbs and stuff. That is very true. Mm. Apart from that, it hinders their mental ability and stuff. That is very true. But you see, Bella, the issue of Galamse is one that when we are addressing it as much as possible, we should try to disassociate it from politics. I think that is the only way we can solve the issue of illegal mining and even um, practices, okay? Mm -hmm. Why am I saying so? She was able to point out um, instances where NPP people were ne uh, neck deep in the activity. That was good. I can equally mention people from her side or the NDC that were um, doing the illegal galamsey. And just as you pointed out, Prof. Frimpon Boating's report, and let me quote him, okay? There's a place where he said that the NDC in the Western region, what they did was that they allowed their own people to mine so that they can get money to sponsor their candidates and even illegal, uh, what do you call them, um, independent candidates to contest against the NPP. Now, if you go back to history, before 2020 elections, look at the number of NPP NPs that we had and look at what we are now having as at now. You ask yourself, what happened? Why did we lose over 35 seats? And the answer is simple, because... Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, make your point, I'm listening. Yeah, because of the kind of force, the kind of um, fight that the president put in during that time. Now, you go and read a report from Beneficent. Benefson wrote something, I think somewhere 2022, on modern Ghana, uh, what do you call it, news, that the item that they did. He indicated that the MPP suffered or lost over 30 seats because they fought Galamse. And the people were not happy with the way MPP fought Galamse. And so we suffered it. So when the president said that he's going to put his presidency on the line, he didn't lie. 
He did it and we suffered the consequences. Is and that really the case? Because no, again, going that, back to that, the Professor from Boaten reports, hold on. He has said no, that. This one is not on. from Frimpong Boateng. No, I'm report. just also bringing that in okay. so that we can also have a very balanced okay. conversation. Now, he said that, for example, a lot of, you know, senior members within the NPP had taken over the Galamse in all these areas to the extent that now they were not even allowing people within the villages to go and cut Woma. Woma, and he put that in quote in his report, to even go and sell or to use for, to pound for food. So these locals were upset with the NPP especially, because they were not allowing them to go ahead and do the jobs that they were initially doing. And so if the NPP was going to lose the elections in any way, it's not because of the fight against illegal mining, it was. but rather That's because why I said, of the, the way they were being ben treated, Epson, where some women were even will, being slapped. Let me, let me look for Ben Epson. When they attempted to enter the forest. Yeah, Ben Epson. Ben Epson's uh, report. I'm looking for Ben Epson's report. He wrote it. I'm not saying this from my own, um, what do you call it? He I'm not saying it. this from my own as well. I'm just giving yeah. you and another angle where you that Professor you, you are, is saying that you are, you are if you are going to lose prof. it, it's yes. because so of you how are the people were treated basing in the your areas argument where Galamse was taking prof. place. From mm -hmm. Pom Boateng's report. Mm -hmm. And I am basing it on Ben Epson's report. And okay. we all know who Ben Epson is. So Ben Epson said so. And are you putting him up, you know, higher than the professor I'm not who was the chairman higher. of the I am only interministerial making committee? Available information that is out there concerning Galamsey. So are we going to consider the two? No, we have So to... that you admit to an extent no, that, yes, see, maybe Prof it's because of your fight against it, but also because of how the Prof, locals were treated, you know, which Prof, angered them against the NPP? Prof Frimpong is a scientist mm. and reported a scientific data. And we know who Ben Epson is. Ben Epson is a politician. And so the meaning or the data that Ben Epson will derive from what hap whatever happened is going to be different from what the scientists will be looking at. A scientist seeing a data has a different uh, interpretation from a, a politician. So I am making data available for people to appreciate it both scientifically and also when you look at it in the political um, line. Okay. That is the point I'm trying to make here. Now, you see... She made mention of Dr. B uh, Mr. Bisu, Charles Bisu. We are all aware that he's no longer working. Um, he was fired when they realized that he, he, he was involved. They fired him. And he, she said he was promoted. He wasn't promoted. He is an individual who went and contested. And his constituents thought that they could make him their PC. It is not the MPP that promoted him. These are constituents who have their own conscience and decided that they want him to be they are um, parliamentary candidates. So but you, you have to win them. the delegates' votes first, the primaries, yeah, to so represent they, they, the party. Is the delegates within the party who select who should represent them as the, a parliamentary the candidate? The delegates are individuals. Are they, they are not party beings. members? They are human beings. Yes, first. but are they not party members? They are party members. Okay. But they are human beings first. Okay? Now, you see, in as much as we are trying to say that MPP did this, NDC did this, one thing I need you to understand is that when it comes to fighting illegal mining, the NDC doesn't even have any track record to base their ability to fight illegal mining. And that one, she should know. Because I have video of Mahama publicly telling voters during campaign that if they vote for him and he becomes the president of Ghana, that was 2020 elections, he will ensure that all those that were arrested because of illegal mining, mm -hmm. he is going to give them amnesty. Did you watch the whole video? I'm coming. Did you watch? I'm just asking. No. Did you watch the whole video? I'm coming. Where he started from Aisha One and the likes of all the top people. I'm coming. Who were rather left to go scot free, and it was rather the younger ones who were being arrested and made to pay for illegal mining. No, but were they guilty of the crime or not? But if we're arresting them, no. hold on, so you hold see, on. Have you watched the full video, by the way? I didn't watch the full video. So then you can't but base your judgment I, on just a part no, of the video. The part because that if you I watch the full video, whether then when, you, I'm not justifying anybody who's engaged in illegal okay. mining. But the concern then is many of us are aware, in fact, your party, and that report also states the names of people within the presidency who are engaged in illegal yeah, mining. And it, uh, None of them his, have his been arrested. Report, his the Chinese report? people are arrested and they are deported. Per the law, they are supposed to serve their term here if they are found guilty before they are deported. In most cases, they are deported. Yet, 
the young ones who are looking for jobs in the country are the ones who are arrested and left to languish in jail. That's the concern so, that many so people are have. are you saying that And so the still, question, that's why I'm asking if you watch the full video. I didn't watch the full video. If you are going to, if you're going to castigate him, that and I'm not speaking for him. The people who were incarcerated were not guilty of that's the crime. That's why I'm saying that. I'm not speaking for anybody Good. engaged. Yes. But, but if we're arresting these young people, yes. why are we not arresting the main people, so you the see, ones who are bringing Bella, the excavators, Bella, the Bella, ones who own these mining concessions? Bella, let's try to appreciate something here. Mm. Whether some people were left to go back to their hometowns or not, the question is, the people that he said he will be given amnesty to, were they guilty of the crime? What about the ones who no, are no, bringing Bella, in the excavators? Please, the ones who own these mining concessions? No. No, because you see, I have, you, we, I have told we, you, you see, we are, we are building on something. I have told you we that are I don't side with something. anybody who engages in Galamse. I'm not saying so. Hold on, Tabitha, I'll let you speak, don't worry. Okay. I'm saying emphatically that I don't support anybody who engages in Galamse because now we're seeing that we're getting poisoned. But the former president is saying that if you are not arresting the main brains behind Galamse, yes. and yet you go to these sites and pick up these young men who by no fault of theirs, for some reason are engaged in Galamse, and you, you close your eyes to the big men yes. at the presidency yes. who are the ones bringing in these excavators, owning these the mining gold. concessions, how many who are people taking out the gold. The then how were, are you fighting were, it? Were, 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 were cited. How many of them? How many? Yeah. So, of course, we've heard about Akunta mining. Yes. We've heard about you Akunta see, mining. Even Bella. this morning, there's a report from the fourth estate. Bella. Still listing Akunta mining as mining in the tunnel, uh, the Ibrim River. And yet they did not even have the license for that. They are still doing it. The president came out and said he does not believe they engaged in illegal mining. That alone is bad enough because we don't have any reports indicating that they are not guilty of what they are being accused of. So Bella, yes, the president has cleared him. Bella, you see, the issue here is this. That is why I made it clear that the issue of Galamsey is one that we do not have to paint party colors. That is why I initially wanted us to appreciate some details. Mm. That even if you have a whole candidate who wants to be president say some of these things, what are you telling the electorate? That is the point I'm trying to make here. And another point I want to make clear here is that, you see, you cannot fight something that the people want. That is another issue we are ignoring. The people that are involved in Galamse, the people that Galamse put food on their table, I can tell you for a fact, that counts into one million or plus people, mm -hmm. which serves as a source of, um, what do you call it, livelihood to them. Now the question is, mm -hmm. what do we do? That is why, um, if you look at what we did earlier, just as I indicated, we brought Operation Vanguard, we brought Operation Halt, we brought um, a, a, a temporal ban on the importation of excavators. Because see, if you are going to trace the history of excavators, we realize that it is the excavators that is causing a lot of harm. Who's bringing them in? Now listen, Who's I saw a report and according to the report... And land on this so that I can yes, bring land on this. Spoken for long. I saw a report, and according to the report, excavators were introduced into the Ghanaian mining activities from 2010. Mm -hmm. And we all know 2010, who was president? Which party was in power? I thought you now, said we shouldn't paint no, any political colors no, on that, this one. Of but course, you seem but to be going back to that. I didn't paint anybody. But I just said, said you know we know who was in power. Yes. That's that is, also being political. Just to make it clear. Okay. That is what I'm saying. Because okay. it's the excavators that is causing a lot of damage to our water bodies. And so, the government, when Ekufado came, he said, look, I'm going to put a ban on the importation of what? Excavators. Two, I am going to make sure that those that have acquired license and are doing it legally, I'm going to put trackers in them to track their activities. All these measures were taken and still we are not seeing the results we all want. Mm -hmm. That is why Dr. Mahmoud Baumia is saying that. When he becomes president, what he is going to do is that, one, he is going to ensure that he doesn't make it difficult for people to secure proper license. One. Why can't we do it now? No. Why can't he advise the president to do it now? Is the you president see, not seeing the state this, of our water body? This, this now, 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 now. You know, we are dying now. You want us to wait see, till after election? When, when was, when 
You know, you see, Bella. Bella, thank this, you. I this, know, I'm moving this, on, but I just wanted to respond this, to this. Uh, now, 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 we all know that it doesn't just happen that way. How? Since when did we get this issue come up again? This issue has been raging on for years. That's why I say, so they stop and go back, stop and go back. So now let's implement so now, these measures. Yes, that is why you, you indicated that they are going to have a meeting. That's the, the minister. That's the, the minister. vice president. Yes. The vice president so, says when he comes. So, that's so a I am telling you our plan. manifesto, what the vice president has to do or the, the plans he has for Ghanaians. Let, let me use this opportunity okay, to let just me come to too. Please, no, no, me... you've spoken for long. No, it's okay, I'll let you come you, back. You, you were asking a lot of questions. I'm sorry, but I needed to borrow into okay. the things you were saying because we expect that if the, the vice president has any plans for us, now is a cry for help. The media coalition against illegal mining is saying that declare a state of emergency. So if you have any plans, implement them now. Don't tell us to vote for you before you implement them in the nearest possible you future or wherever. That. Susan. Bella. <laughs> You know, I wrote things nicely, but this, you know, you know, what makes us sick in this country and people have switched off is the equalization in, in the face of our collective suffering and destruction. You, you understand? And it, 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 you know, we say, don't, don't, don't politicize it. And then all of a sudden, then in the, in the next minute, we are politicizing it. Whatever it is, it is a political issue. Because if you look at everybody's manifestos, they have nice things saying, why hasn't the war even advanced in where it should be? It's because of a lack of political will. Uh, basic. Look, this Galamse issue is a result of failed leadership and an incompetent state able to protect its vulnerable people. Simple. And who has raised their hands to say they want to be in government to lead us? And we have given them the mandate to lead us and failed us. It's both NDC and MPP. And so they should stop this race to the bottom. You know, I, I always say this. The pass mark is 50. Somebody gets 30. Somebody gets 31. And then you are arguing that who, who has done better than who? When you have both failed us. You, 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 you understand? It's, 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 it's sickening. It's pathetic. I mean, when you hear a, 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 an, an MP, a leader in parliament say that, eh, you dirtied the water more than we dirtied it, or you polluted the water more, then you see how low our politics has gotten. For his information, we can measure, turbidity is being measured recently. We could see the turbidity in the NDC time and see the turbidity now. Look, the gentleman was saying, that the scientist was saying, that turbidity levels, I was reading it, mm -hmm. for drinking water is between 0 0.5 and 1 NTU. Right now, our turbidity levels are 14,000. Can you imagine? And we sit here and want to do MPP do this, NDC do this. Seriously? Look, the, 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 as for the, the things in the manifesto, we've, I've already said, we have to change tactics. Taxes is, is what is needed. You have been doing these things forever and you are not getting the results. Then you know that you are there. MPP comes to tell us that their party winning elections is more, uh, uh, is, is more, is paramount than the lives of us. When they tell us that because they were fighting against Galamse, we voted against them, or the people in those places voted against them. Mm. So, you know, every party does a review after four years. Yeah. So after, when they did that review, they decided that, okay, we lost in those places. And because we lost in those places, now the fight on Kalamse is going to go in the back burner because our party ambition to be in power is, is greater. Because that's, that's what she's telling us. Mm. And that's what you hear them say. Eh, we lost power in those places when we started fighting against Kalamse. So, so what did you do? Instead of continue, you relaxed because our collective importance, it's our collective health is not important to you. It is your winning power. We have to get rid of them. And there's no question about it. People who can put their party interest in the face of life and death and say that because we lost power there, you continue. What you do is you don't halt and come back. You don't halt and come back. It is a continuous thing. Look, there are people, the young men there who need jobs. But they are the greedy people 
who forced this issue to go. Kalamse is not new. I did mm. some work in Kalamse many years ago, in 2000. Kalamse, when it started, it was gather and sell. Mm. What happened was that, what would happen was that the, the miners, the small miners, mm. would go and take the, the load from the big mining because they are unable to extract the fine, um, what do you call it, um, uh, very well. Mm -hmm. So they could use other smaller means to get gold from the tailings from the big companies. Yeah. That's how it started. Mm -hmm. And of course, as the economic depression of our countries became worse and worse with successive governments, the miners began to do these things. The laws are there. The thing about training them to do better, about forming cooperatives and things to do, have already been there. Like I said, it is the lack of political will. Mm. And of course, now we have political parties who are being financed by these miners. What we need to do, you see, in our fight against Galamse, we should also look at political party funding. Mm. It's one thing to look at political party funding. Who are funding these parties? And what I mean, and where is the money coming from? And we, we should be able to take decisions on that and vote against uh, 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 these parties. You, you know, this is our lives we are talking about. Look, I want to see how those MPs in those areas, what they have done in the fight against Galamsey, the MPs there. It should, that should determine whether we should vote for them again or not. Mm. Everybody should come in on their record as an MP in the Galamse area, say, this is what I've been doing, and this is how I've sustained it. It won't surprise me that they are part of it and getting money from it, so they, they, their actions are lackadaisical and laid well, back. The, the Speaker of Parliament mentioned ah, that some of them well, are taking money, and so the people look, they have been speaking to are aware that they're involved. Some of these MPs said, ah, are they, involved. Oh, yeah, it, and it will not surprise me. People will take money from anywhere. We are going to become a state where we are ruled by criminals because they have money. Criminals will fund politicians and politicians will be in, in place and do the bidding of criminals. That is where we are getting to. And then our collective lives will be there. Look, anybody who thinks that they have money so they will import water to drink, they are lying. Either they will not eat plantain in this country, they will not eat bananas, they will not eat any food from this country. They should import their food also and eat everything from our side. Because if you don't drink the water, you may find it in some, uh, in some um, um, plants or some fruit mm. or whatever. You, you understand? And it may not be you. You should remember that it's not you and just your immediate family. And, and it, it's, it's just your it's, it's, you, yeah. you have loved people outside your immediate family that you are buying imported water for. I think that Ghanaians, we should set up okay. and reject these two parties. They have failed us. It is about time we take direction, a different direction. Which is the, what? Which is an independent candidate who will come and take the best brains. I have said over and over again, inherent in some of the attitudes of the political parties, in, in they are unable to act and inherent in the corruption in this country lies in the part, um, um, political party governance and the way political parties um, themselves are, are, are the same. What we need is an independent candidate, somebody whose loyalty is Ghana first, Ghana last, Ghana always, not to their political party, so that if their political party upper cheek is, is, is funding the party and is, 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 is buying everything and everything in, in, in the region, they will, they will say that, eh, at this present time, we don't know him how, how, to be How to, do you to, intend to, to fight Galamse? Because it's a, it's a concern and we need to fight it's it a, as soon a, as a possible. Concern. I mean, one of the ways, up, apart from, um, yes, educating the, 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 the communities mm -hmm. on the long-term effects, is to enable the communities themselves to come up with unique solutions to how they can fight it without collapsing the economy of that community. Okay. Because that is important. The important thing is that you, you, you see, uh, nature abhors a vacuum. You cannot immediately just go in. We can go and do shoots to kill and all those things which have been done in other countries. You understand? Mm. But the thing is that when people are, are poor and don't see a future or something ahead of them, they will resort to all sorts of actions. And we see that in some of the communities where maybe farmers and etc. have given their lamp out, you know, for, and say that, okay, let's do galamse and things like that. We need to find that kind of unique, tailor-made, 
um, um, what do you call it, community okay. to do it. Yes, government will do the big things. Government may send in the, uh, um, um, what do you call it, may have a, 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 you know, a, a plan in terms of mining commission, how to do, and all those. La, la, la. I mm -hmm. can mention that what the, the GTP of the um, um, Alan Shaman thing is. It's all so beautiful. But important thing is the community active engagement in not in making them also become miners, mm. but in moving them away okay. and giving them a, 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 a economic viability such that mining is not the thing for them to do. Nanaya, so, so at this point, the minister says he's fighting this. There are also those who are calling for him to be sanctioned and sacked. What do you say? I agree he should be sacked. He has failed woefully. Because you see, this Galamse thing we've been talking about, it, whatever they have put in place has not worked. And Bella, if you have an intervention to deal with a menace and it is not working, mm. it means that there's lack of commitment. Because if the government and the minister and all other people around are doing what they have to do, with commitment, it wouldn't have happened. What we are going through, because you see, I, I even believe that we should stop every mining activity in the country. We should halt. Every mining activity, yes. whether small scale or large scale. Yes, we should halt and have a total overview of everything that is going on. We should halt. We should halt on giving licenses. We should halt and have a, a, a holistic investigation into what is going on. For instance, you told us that the Konongo one, mm -hmm. they said that they were going to do feasibility study for legal small-scale mining. By the time we realized, the people realized they were mining. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So if we stop giving these licenses, we put a hold on mining for now and take a holistic view of everything that is going on, at least it will be able to enable us what the real situation is. But I am telling you something, everything that we are talking about is ad hoc. We don't even have the exact data of the, uh, the enormity of the situation at hand. Bella, it is there. It is there. The gold areas are in serious trouble. And these areas are some of the food baskets of this nation. So you can imagine what we are going through. Right now, we might not see the impact of what is going on. The MPP is in government. Me, you see, I don't like this thing where you have been given a responsibility. Instead of doing what is right, you decide to always talk about what happened. They go away and talk about Kwame Nkrumah. Today you are in power. You have been given a responsibility to do what you have to do. To make sure that one of the menaces that is facing this nation is dealt with. But Bella, you are not doing it. And any time we open our mouth, you then run. to other people and say even in was galam say in this time there was galam this time this time but you are in power we have employed you to do a job for us you have failed in doing the job and now you are you you are shifting blame but is, how is, is, that? is that what they're doing or they're asking the ndc to also be fair in the statements they make because if they've also been fingered my in the Galamse activities, dear, then why are they pointing my, fingers my dear, at the NPP? If somebody points fingers at somebody and the person is not there, why don't you deal with the person? If you know truly that the person too is responsible, why don't you deal with the person? Bella, I'm asking you. That's for them to answer, Yes, not because you see, you are also doing it. So the fact that somebody did it, it means that, I mean, you should also do it. Because everything that they do wrong, either they use the constitution or they point to the NDC, the NDC too did it. So then why did we sack them then? Why did we say in 2016 we don't want them? If you have a wife whose uh, soup is full of pepper and you cannot stand the pepper and you sack that wife and you bring another one and this one is salt and pepper, 
Then why did you sack the other one? Then you should bring the other one back. I mean, truly speaking, I do not get it. Because you see, the, the nicest thing anybody can do is to accept blame and say that I will do something about it. To accept blame and look at the plight of Ghanaians. But like you see, maybe they want all of us to die because they have done data and realized that there is a billion ounces of gold out there. Ten trillion dollars. So if we all die, and they can import water. So if you all die, then they will take the gold. That's you say maybe. So uh, no, but, I, do, but, but, I don't but, want to believe that no, but, but, they'll but, be that evil to want uh, everyone if, to if, die. No, but Bella, if they are not, we are dying slowly. Do you know what is in your body right now? I don't. You don't. I don't know what is in my body right now. Unless I go to the hospital, I do not know. And some of these things that come up, it comes up suddenly. Yeah. Tomorrow somebody's liver, tomorrow somebody's mm -hmm. kidney, tomorrow this, tomorrow that. What is happening? And it is happening to the younger people. Go to the dialysis centers around the country. Mm. Look at the, the features you've been doing on dialysis. Young, ever since did we have people as young as 21, people as 18, 19, mm. getting kidney disease. Well, we're told that it can even stay in your body for 20 years, yes. the poison. Yes. It, it, it attacks your brain life. first. Yes. Yesterday we spoke to a toxicologist. Uh -huh. Your brain so it goes fed. straight to your brain yes. before it now seeps down into yes. your and liver you start, and you, you kidney. Start and, and yes, and by the time you realize you are vegetable, mm. should we get to that point, Bella? We if probably they, have gotten to that yes, point. Yes, if they already. don't want us, <laughs> if they don't want to take over this country, because for them, all they know about their party breaking the eight, that is all. That is why Baumia will tell us that he has the ideas, but he's not going to implement it now. But that is why he's saying that. If they really thought about us, if they really think that we are people that are worth anything. Me, I'm saying that come 20, 24, 7 December, Ghana, please, we should behave like UK. The way they threw out the Conservative Party, we should go out in our numbers to go and vote, just with the mindset that we are liberating Ghana. Not because we are bringing any party in power, but we are just liberating our country. I always say that this vote on 7 December, 93 days away, it is for a second independence of this nation. Mm. And mm. we need to do it with a concerted effort, with God on our mind, with Ghana in our heart, saying that we are going to vote against these people because they do not care, they don't mind. All they know is about themselves. Well, Susan Period. says vote against the two parties. So is that what you're also saying? Me, I'm saying go and vote against them. They are in power. Okay. So go and vote against them. Me, right. anybody competing, ah, my party is competing, everybody is competing, but as long as it is, vote against the MPP. All right. Well... L let me bring in, but quickly before that, good morning to Kojo Chumbafu. He says that, good morning, uh, Akura, with all due respect to my dear sister Susan, the issues that fuel Galamse require strong legislative action that will make it very unpalatable to engage in illegal mining. So, the punishment needs to be harsh and render the activity yes. a clear and present danger to those who engage in it. No, no, How does an independent candidate garner the buy-in of the two major parties who will inevitably command the majority of parliamentary seats? I'll come so, to you so you okay. can respond to that. Don't okay. worry. I just wanted to read this before I, I lose it. But, um, Nache, so again, not to play politics with this, but how do you also justify some candidates who have gone to some of these villages and encourage the people within those communities to vote mm -hmm. against this party and vote for your party so that when they come, they can allow them to still continue engaging in Galamse? So you see, we would vote against the NPP because in the case that Nana says, you have a wife that cooks um, soup and the pepper is too much. Now you get another one that adds pepper and salt. In the case of the MPP, they are the wife that has the wife that has pepper spray. So the pepper is not only in the food; they spray the pepper in your face. You see, the people in the Galamse areas will vote against the NPP because they staged the fight against Galamse. They burnt excavators. They seized people's concession, and then they appropriated those concessions to themselves because party here, Sika. And today, Tabitha will sit here and say that let us not politicize. Did we hear in the video that Ghana here, Sika? It is the NPP party that needed the money, Please, your, your and friend. not and not and not Ghana. So it is not about not politicizing. Please. The NPP has shown the way that when it comes to Galamse, let politicize because party here, Sika. And then she went on to say that President Mahama says he would give amnesty to those who are in prison. And we have established here, and I repeat, maybe she didn't hear, that the kingpins of Galamse have been noted to be people of the NPP. 
Not only them. They, and that's what I'm saying. If they, if they have the evidence that there are persons in the NDC who are also engaged in illegal mining, take them to court, put them to prison. Then we say that, of course, you have the chest and the rib to fight Dalamse. Did I hear somebody also mention Operation Vanguard? Please, there is a joy news story. The legal advisor to the Operation, Operation Vanguard eh, 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 team said that when they were put together, no laws were governing them. In the fight against Galamse Bella, this government has not only been wasteful, they've been self-enriching. They've been wasteful, they've been self-enriching, and they've put every life of Ghanaian, including the un un unborn children, on the line. Now, let me also say... I, I don't know if you've responded to my question about <laughs> some no, you, of your you, parliamentary you, candidates. You were asking. I'm yes. outside you. I'm saying that... How do you justify that as well? Because... <laughs> Whichever way you look at it, it's completely wrong to encourage people Bella, to vote for a party so that you can encourage them no, to, or no, you can allow them to no, continue doing Galam. No, no, what we are saying is that as a party, those who have been put to jail are not the culprits mm -hmm. that we are establishing. And we are saying again that the Galamse uh, uh, communities will vote against the MPP because they staged the fight, they seized the concession and the equipment, and they appropriated to themselves. And so I'm answering your question, that the justification is that you can't come and stage a fight. So we should encourage the locals to still engage in Galamse? Well, so, so let me tell you what President John Draman Mahama has said that he will do about Galamse. And on that note, I brought a copy for everybody hey. on this table. Yes, in don't fact, have so time, that you, you read with me. <laughs> what we, we are we saying is that, <laughs> Bella, be, 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 stay with me. We are placing a ban on new mining activities in forest reserve. The law that the MPP, the ally that they passed to give the president the power to give people permission to mine in forest reserve, we are banning it. We okay. are many the... Be, be, Sorry, be, I don't be, have time. That's why I told you that. Be, we cannot go through be, the whole thing. I was thing. here when you engaged everybody. The timing this morning. I'm, I'm so happy, sorry about that. Fine. We don't have time. You but if you bring it, the whole worry. letter, don't worry. We'll read it off air. But It is not about the reading. So you asked what our party was doing different. You asked, you asked Susan. And so you should allow me to tell you hey, what my party is doing you, different. And then I use mine to, okay, hold to on. say so what I will allow me to tell you what we are doing I'll give 30 seconds. You go to what you say. 30 seconds. So what we are saying is that... Summarize. <laughs> we are placing a ban on new mining activities in forest reserves. We are amending the mineral and mining laws to impose stiffer punishment on mining on water bodies to the extent that we are upgrading this to a second degree felony. That amounts to crime, it amounts to murder. Okay. This TIFA punishment will deter people from mining in our water bodies. And you said that we'll reclaim the lands with the, and the NDC, the water was better. And we are reclaiming the lands, the water will return to even better situations than we left it. We're sure even if we try, we'll take a, a long period for the water to, you know, be restored back to its original state. And so, uh, I've seen a comment from someone who says that maybe we should even ban, mine, ban mining for 50 years. Eh, hey, ban it. But, but, Tabitha, yes. I mean... Um, you know, what are your thoughts? It's, it's interesting how my sister is so confident about her government. A government that doesn't have any Even your government, you are confident about okay. it. No, please. Even her government allow, that allow her to talk. talk. You, you, she you, is confident. When you were talking, she didn't Even interject. Even her government, she is proud uh, of it. Please, let's respect ourselves and allow her to you know, speak. I don't um, I will always quote this on every platform because it is good we know that we have to always start from the known to the unknown. What we know about the NDC when it comes to Galamse is nothing to write home about. You don't have a good uh, track record that we, the MPP, should even look at you. We have been the only government in the history of Ghana to have fought Galamse with everything that we have. <laughs> yes, <laughs> listen. Please don't it go is, there. It, it is a fact. Please allow it's, her. It is a fact. Don't please allow her to All the measures. No, please allow her to make her points. Then please let, let we are ladies on this platform. When someone is on the floor, let's respect ourselves and allow the person to have his or her time. Don't worry, everyone is quiet. Please yes. speak. Now, what I'm trying to say is this. We are the only government that has actually fought Galamse. And you cannot tell me that there's any other government that has fought Galamse more than we have. We decided to use the force. The force didn't help us. The voice of the people is that we want to mind. That is the voice of the people. Which yes, people? yes. Which people? Exactly? I already indicated that communities that voted against us, you know, of course, after every um, 
uh, what do you call it, elections, you will have to go back and count your losses, try to find out what was the problem. We did our investigation and we realized that the people actually want to mine. But you see... But, but is it listen, about what the people want Bella, or is it about what Bella, will benefit listen, all of us and protect Bella, all of us? That is why I'm saying that the force has not helped us. Mm. We have used force. It hasn't helped us. Now the MPP under... Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, and we all know Dr. Mahmoud Baumia is a vice president. He doesn't have the, 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 the power to do what you suggested earlier. He doesn't have it. What, what did I suggest? You suggested that why isn't that he's not fighting Balanse right now? Why is he not implementing the measures that is in his manifesto? You told me earlier. Maybe I said, why don't you speak to the? Why don't you let him speak to the president? That this Bella, is my plan. You have to. Let's yes, write it so down. You see, please, please, Bella, Nanaya, Bella, please. Listen, it is. You can talk to the president, but it to the president to either take it or not. So please, this one is not something that we should be discussing. So we should wait for him to become that, president? Not that we should wait. You should know better. Who that, is you should know better? No, like, I Daniels mean... Daniels or me? I know you, Bella. You should know better no, that you cannot dictate. I should dictate. know better. Yes, you can dictate to your, your general manager, true or false. I'm sorry. No, but if people in the company are dying, I don't think my general manager will no. wait for me to yes, become a general manager five years general, later no. to, to help these Bella, people. Bella, you if see, you see them dying I, now, I, you help why, them now. That is why I said that you should know better that you can dictate to your GM. But I've just given you a scenario. No, it is just something My I'm GM saying. will listen to me if people yes. are dying. Good. And he now, or she will implement GM, whatever plans the there are in the person so that of the we can That's why restore life. That. With the force that he has used so far, it is not yielding the results that we all want, true or false. The force he has used has not helped all of us. We are all saying that it hasn't yielded the results we want. That Did you is have why. the will? Pardon? Did you have the will? Yeah. To fight this? Yes, we had the or will. Or you just looked like you were fighting, but in actual we fact were you were enabling. We were actually fighting. You even indicated that security personnel that were even asked to go and fight Galamse. Where they're aiding Galamse through a force. You said it on this okay, platform. Okay, for me. Now, let me wrap up. I want to wrap up by telling Ghanaians that, look, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia has realized that it is increasingly difficult to fight the people because of Galamse. So what he intends to do is this. He says that he will ensure that EPA, which is the Environmental Protection Agency, is decentralized. And what they do is that, you know, they will be mandated to ensure that people do it the right way. Okay. That is one. Two. He is saying that he is going to make available funds so that people can buy the gold cutter machine. And we all know what the gold cutter okay. machine is. It is environmentally is friendly all right. and doesn't use mercury. Okay. That can destroy our forest That's areas. if Ghanaians will vote for him because he, I think that... No, don't worry. Let me go to Susan because but, Ghanaians are also watching. Let, on, let, let me answer I the mean, question that um, uh, Mr. Chumbwafo said. Mm -hmm. Look, there are already existing laws against Galam saying, this is about EPA now going to be decentralized. The only problem why EPA is not in the places that there is is because the government has put a ban on employment and EPA is, is static in Accra. That's why they cannot go into the, 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 the what do you call it, into the uh, places. But any, any mining um, 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 company who wants to mine must have an EPA evaluation before they start. It is not now that you are coming to tell, tell us that EPA is going to go and do this. This is the job that EPA do, I, does already. I've already I've said that the laws that are there already and uh, that need to be enforced, the political will to do them. So it's not now that an independent candidate is now coming to enact laws. The laws that are there need to be made to work. Minerals Commission was already gathering the illegal um, miners and trying to train them to move them away from mercury. They, they actually even used to suck the mercury out and hmm. spit it out. And they say, These were things that they did many years ago that the Minerals Commission had educational programs to do that. Even try to bring them together to form little, little cooperatives. This is nothing new. You, you understand? What we are talking about is the political will to do it. I'm coming again to an independent candidate like Mr. Alan Chiamanti and you saying, Mr. Alan Chiamanti is come to test the patriotism of Ghanaians and especially of our MPs, that when he comes to you and says, I have identified that you have this particular skill, so come and let us, you know, uh, uh, um, work to the service of the people. And you say that, that no, because you're not in my party, so I won't work. 
we are going to actually see the patriotism of our MPs and the people that are okay. in this country. Look, we have come to a, a place where it is party, party, and my party, and my party, and my party, because we were fighting Alamse, we lost in these places, and so hmm, we sat back. We, it's about time we moved on. Ghanaians, look, they need to take courage and, they, and, and say that, we are not going to make a decision between any of these two. All we right. are making a change out of a life and death situation. Right. We've seen what these two parties can offer us. We said we will vote independent and we will vote Alan Chamante. Right. I, I think that, no, no, we, they, I mean, we, we we as a people just need to find our audaciousness in, in, in terms of a protest vote against the way we have been treated by these two All parties. Right, West Thank and Wester. And this is Thank how you. the two of them, they, you know, Thank we you. can choose to say who is the, the worst of the two of them. But All right, they're Susan. just bad for us as a people. All right. Susan Eduma Amankwa is a member of the Alliance for Revolutionary Change. Nanaya Chimpim Jantua is the former Secretary General, uh, General Secretary for the CPP. And also um, Tabitha Ayila Apengiene. <laughs> I hope I got it right again. Very correct. NPP Communications Team Member Na Ache. Niokwe is the communications team member for the NDC. Thank you, ladies, for joining us. I know Nanaya is not too happy with me, so I'm going to talk. Hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. Please, let me read. Step into the world. I beg you. Step into the world of Dewa 539 for your chance to win big with Dewa Direct and Dewa Chop Money. With Dewa Direct, dial star 446 hash, pick 1 to 33, and win 20 times, 40 times, or 400 times your stake. And win cash every evening at 7 p.m. and on Sundays at 6 p.m. Early birds love Dewa, so make sure that at 10 a.m. you dial star 446 hash, choose 1 to 39 and win 20 times, 40 times or 400 times your stake. Play at dewa-nla.com or dial star 446 hash. And also, if you need help, call them now on 055-62-59249 or 053-247-9879. Ladies, thank you for joining me. I apologize. If you have to put a timer on the room.